look at my baby girl here. Hi Ivy, what are you doing sweetheart? Hi baby girl. What are you doing? I miss you so much. It's been a while since I've been able to sit with her and just kind of chill out with her. Of course, I was gone for so long and this is our second day back and the truth is is that getting an opportunity just to spend time with my animals is so absolutely amazing. You know, I, being away was amazing and we got to do so many amazing things, but being back is just incredible. I mean, look at Ivy. She's like, Dad, I missed you. And to get a chance to just sit in here with my kind of therapy animal, you know what I mean, is absolutely amazing. The truth is, in all honesty, is that we filmed so much on this road trip but we actually did a lot more and there was a few places that we went to that just didn't kind of fit into a normal vlog right and I hate to waste that footage because there were some amazing experiences hi baby what are you doing the first one I want to share with you guys is actually when we went to Mark McCarthy's place which is McCarthy's Wildlife Sanctuary absolutely an amazing place so we got to see all his cool animals and again I wanted to make sure to show you guys so let's go ahead and roll that clip I wanted to come here for a long time uh, do me a favor, go show them some love. As a matter of fact, recently they got their Instagram account hacked, so I'm gonna put a link in the description, show them some love. Let's go look at some cool animals. Hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Yes, hey there. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful thing Oh, these look. cats, males are, are usually friends? around 50 to 60 oh, pounds. Can we be best friends? Um, females around 40, 30 to 40. And this is a this is a female. This is a female. This is definitely my favorite of all the cats for sure. Of course, the clouded leopard. I just love the way that these guys look, and they have such giant paws when they get bigger. They're not a giant cat by any stretch. When they're actually big, their paws are just so big, and they're just so amazing. And of course, they have that beautiful clouded pattern. I mean, I am so excited that I got a chance to interact with them. It's been years since I've been able to do it, and this guy is so absolutely adorable. So you guys know that I love blue and. And by the way, this reptile room is uh, to die for. I want to live here. I love this reptile room. But uh, of course, these are blue and Solaris here. And guess what? They just had babies this morning. So take a look at all these little baby blue and Solaris. Look at all of these baby blue and Solaris. Of yeah. course, we got a little kinkajou here. Absolutely lovely animal. Just look at those beautiful eyes. Unbelievable. Of course, heavily nocturnal, of course. And these guys love sweets, too. You got to be a little bit careful with the sweet side of things because uh, they can get diabetic, believe it or not. So that's kind of an interesting thing, too. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely a cute little dude. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, you can't get much cuter than a kinkajou, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, oh, that's okay. Oh. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, no biting. No biting, how are you? Yeah, she's not bad for 30. You said she's 30? Yes. Wow, 30 years old, that's amazing. Well, I've, I've had him about 20 years. 20 years, wow. Look at that, not a crocodile, beautiful. I had a lady come up here with her son and they bought it at a pet store. A pet store? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I, then I started thinking, maybe it's a, an American croc. Yeah. But then looking at yeah, it, it like, oh, so just take a look at this room. I mean, unbelievable. You know, tropical rattlesnakes, albino atrox, got kaboon vipers down here. I mean, I am in heaven. Big old diamond back over here. Oh my gosh, just you can go through banded rock rattlesnakes right here. I mean, banded rock rattlesnakes are some of my favorites. I mean, there is just, this room is so clean, so amazing, and full of just really cool animals from, you know, Bushmasters to, I mean, look at this Bushmaster over here. That is just absolutely incredible. I love those guys. And then this puff adder over here is to die for. I mean, look at the color on that puff adder right there. Oh my gosh, that is just incredible. And just you could just go on Mitchell Eye, which are of course the, the rattlesnakes from the Chiricahuas. You've got, oh my gosh, you know, it just keeps going on. You've got, of course, you've got Schlegel Eye here right in the back. Look at that one right there. Oh, this is awesome. A little coral cobra here. Spectacle, of course, the spectacles have that beautiful, you know, what you really think of a cobra. And you got that big spectacle on the back of their hood. Oh my goodness. I could spend just hours just looking around this room alone. Take a look at this little tiger salamander, Ambistoma triangulum. Absolutely incredible. I love little salamanders. So this place is definitely really cool. I mean, it's uh, uh, I've been following for a long, long time online just to see it and to see it in person. It's actually way nicer than I ever thought it was gonna be. So much more stuff here. So again, McCarthy's wildlife, unbelievable. I mean, and we are just getting going. We've got a lot more to see. If I look at it, it's like a little jungle back here. This is awesome.
after seeing so many amazing crocodilians down in Florida, it's definitely cool to come back to my alligators. I don't have any crazy Niles or Salties or something like that, but the fact was is Mark's place was unbelievably stunning when it comes to animals. I probably have never been to a cleaner sanctuary than Mark McCarthy's. That place is absolutely amazing. And then we actually had a chance to go over to a legend in Florida. I mean, a guy that people, everyone looks up to down there named Fred Grunwald. And I tell you what, he's always a trip to go visit. This came this a lizard that was living at my house and his name was the homie but the homie. it's a girl right so the homie is a girl oh god she sat under that lamp yesterday 108 degrees wow. a day really wow. oh, she looks great look at that thing oh. Oh, wow <laughs> that's impressive he can't get that leaf off yeah uh, i think it looks yeah, good on it that leaf off yeah. It's an accessory. I think we should leave it. <laughs> I mean, with the flowers. <laughs> Woo! Fred! Fred is a maniac. Good thing he's still got it. <laughs> oh my God, that's beauty. That's Fred. Hey, baby. Oh, this, who is this one's name? Fred. This is Fred? You're yeah. giving to me as a Fred. <laughs> that's awesome. That 10 years, yeah. That's awesome. That's a beauty right there. It's right here. That's the other thing. It's happening. There you go. This is the second time I've been down here, and again, it's only in Florida that you uh, have a backyard like this. I mean, literally, it's just a backyard full of crazy cool animals. I mean, uh, it's the one reason why I wouldn't mind moving down to Florida is to eventually have this in my backyard. <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? Their motto, really, uh, in Florida, be, to be more like Fred. Exactly. Be more like Fred. Oh, wow. Galapagos. Yeah, Galapagos, yeah. Oh, oh, that. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Look at the water snake. Did you invite me? <laughs> hey, silly. Check out back here, huh, Fred? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's cool as can be. So again, Fred is a legend down here in Florida, and it's so nice of him to let us come by and just kind of check out all his animals, and uh, it's definitely good. As a matter of fact, Spanish says there's a saying in Florida for reptile keepers that everyone wants to be more like Fred, and I tell you what, uh, although I'm not from Florida, I definitely hope that I'm more like Fred all the time, because you can see that guy has a passion for this for the last, you know, 50 plus years, which is pretty impressive. You guys know the movement, the movement that is all about the reptile hobby, and of course, that is reptilearmy.com. We have new collections that have already dropped this last month. We have another collection that's going to be dropping in the next two to three weeks so make sure you go to reptilearmy.com there's always going to be something there for you guys we're always going to be updating and getting new stuff so go to reptilearmy.com join the army become our foot soldiers and again 10 percent of the proceeds go to us arc the rest of the proceeds go to conservation and education seems like it's been forever since we pulled a clutch this happens to be an apricot pueblin milk snake and this is actually her second clutch of course lori's been pulling lots of clutches when we've been gone but look at how beautiful that snake is that's the last one of the year for this girl so she is done we'll go ahead get her beefed up get her ready for brumation and so on like that let's see how many eggs we got oh yeah i love it you know when you see a good second clutch without any infertile eggs and it seems to be pretty good numbers just makes you so happy and again this is the first clutch i pulled in over two weeks i mean it's crazy for this time of year i've never actually went on a trip during this time of year because i don't want to miss the pulling of eggs so uh it was it was awesome you know it's really cool so two four six beautiful eggs what a way i love being back here there's no doubt about about it and then getting back to the trip we actually had a really interesting experience really cool place never thought a place like this would exist you guys know what a kinkajou is right it's a cool little like kind of mongoosey type animal well there's actually a place in florida called kinkatopia and it's actually the only kinkajou sanctuary on the planet and we got invited to go down it was just one of the most interesting experiences i've ever had not only were the kinkajous cool but they had a bunch of cool venomous snakes too and a gila monster so it was just an awesome experience so let's just go ahead and show you what it was like. Before we actually go out and look at the kinkajous, we actually got a chance to come into the reptile room uh, and see some really amazing, we've got cake, cobras over here, I mean there's snouty cobras over here, uh, got spectacle cobras, got of course uh, gabbies down below over here, I mean there's all kinds of stuff, I mean it's really good, and we're going to actually get an opportunity to take a look at the Gila monster, we've seen a lot of venomous animals on this trip, but uh, we haven't had a Gila out, so let's go ahead and check out a Gila. Look at this guys, of course this is a beautiful 
Gila monster, absolutely wonderful animals. And you know, these guys do have some, you know, kind of nasty venom in the sense that it's not gonna kill you typically. I think the only deaths that ever have ever occurred have been like children in the past. The truth is it's just kind of a real painful bite, right? But they have really powerful jaws, and when they do bite, they typically really sink in and won't let go. And that's the problem, is it just kind of pumps that venom into you, and uh, you have a lot of issues with like pain and swelling and, and ultimately like you know blood pressure drops and stuff like that. Oftentimes you'll pass out. Uh, it's definitely not a pleasant thing to get bit by. But the truth is, is that most healers are actually pretty docile. I don't expect you should be free handling it without caution. You can see the way I'm holding it right now. It really can't bite me, right? So uh, this is a, a great way to, to do it where they're feeling good. And you can see they'll hang on to you and stuff like that. Absolutely wonderful venomous lizards from the southwest part of this country. Absolutely amazing. I tell you what, all Heloderma are incredible. But this one's a beautiful beauty too with all those pinks and unbelievable reticulated patterns. This is a beautiful animal. So happy that we finally got a chance to handle a Gila on this trip. Trash can is like the star. She is the viral sensation. Like, yeah. she is the TikTok queen. Chloe is, we're going to be building a cage for her outside because she does better on her own. I've never seen Pikachu move so fast. This is, yeah. this is crazy. Oh, yeah. I always thought they were super slow. Are you come out and say hi? Oh, I have to get my phone trash and go. This is crazy. Yeah, it's wild. This right? is wild. Oh yeah, and trash. Again, very impressed. You guys must have very good energy because they're literally all gravitating. So. Love it. So trash can, like I said, she was found in a dumpster in Jupiter and she was rehabbed at a local wildlife sanctuary and then she came here permanently. Now she's our most social kink, so trash is an ambassador. And she's famous, right? She is. She is famous for the trash talk on TikTok, so she's <laughs> gone viral and has helped us build a kinkatopia army yeah. on tiktok so That's um awesome. they are her lawyer su loyal uh subjects <laughs> oh my god with the tail oh, 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 <laughs> yes it's good boy <laughs> binks is a very good boy good boy oh. good oh, boy oh my god right here <laughs> Oh, good boy. Oh, in that ear, dude? Oh, my God. I didn't even know these existed. Uh, I heard the name and I didn't want to Google it. I wanted to be surprised. They are <laughs> cute as could be, aren't they? I'm so happy that trash cans. <laughs> I just get a cut a little crazy look at you. Oh, my gosh. You she want is the gummy? Like, oh, you do. No. I think she loves you. Do you love me? I love Get that ear. Yeah, she's some more cleaning really, to do. Really uh, something special, but she will, yeah, she will definitely. Oh, that's a sweet she knows picture. She's doing. Look at her. Oh, that's awesome, yeah. Trash can. Oh! oh. She has, she's a trash <laughs> nice mustache, Bri. I know, I like it. You're copying my beard. style. I, I, I look like Noah. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, right? <laughs> I never even knew these existed. Aren't they cool? They're they are yes. so cool, aren't they? Yeah, they're like. Do I get one? I don't know. Why? It kind of bit me. Oh yeah, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it'll be good. It'll be good. Look at it. It's like a little bear. It, they, they actually call them honey bears. Honey bear. Yeah. I see it. So obviously the backyard is where all of the rescue kinkajous are. Uh, there's the, the little area inside. And then the majority of them are back out here. And uh, these are all, again, just rescues that are... It's pretty amazing. I mean, to think that uh, they have a passion and a calling to, to help these animals is pretty inspiring. And uh, I know Noah has fallen in love with them for sure. He didn't realize... He's never seen them before. And he's like, oh my God, they're like little bears. They're absolutely incredible. Of course, sometimes they even call them honey bears so uh, the fact is is that uh, they're pretty cool and it's awesome to see a place like this this is where a true passion is so if you have a passion follow your dreams because literally anything is possible I, th and this this just shows you how awesome it can be if you follow those dreams well that wraps that up the Florida trip is officially in the can now I hope that you guys enjoyed these little extra little interludes while we were gone and stuff like that it was uh it was a great time but it is so so good to be back if you enjoyed this video and you enjoy traveling videos here's a playlist you can hit a couple more videos if you want on this side do me a favor hit that subscription button it would mean the world to me have an absolutely wonderful day reptile army remember be kind to somebody and i promise i'll see you tomorrow